Yes! Well, the summer is over, and you know what that means. That means that we no longer have to watch movies in the IMDb Bottom 100. Oh, thank the fucking Lord Jesus Christ, this summer sucked. Yes. So yes, it hard. did. So badly. But now that we're done, now that we've made it through that dark, dank cave that was <laughs> the summer of bottoming, and now that here we are on the other side of summer, facing a bright new future. A future that's full of happiness and promise. So let's start this episode of the podcast on a positive note and talk about how all cops are violent fucking bastards. Okay. Yay! So this summer, the NYPD, which it should be noted is the largest police department in the entire United States, uh, the NYPD announced that it will be training all 35,000 plus police officers in de-escalation tactics using a new system. It's called ICAT, and it's by Perth. Oh, okay, so ICAT stands for Integrating Communications Assessment and Tactics. That's the new de-escalation system. And the training was created, was concocted by PERF, which stands for the Police Executive Research Forum. Oh, nice. And so, okay. And so ICAT is de-escalation training for police in situations where the subject doesn't have a gun. Fun fact, Bunny! Well, not so fun. But since 2015, according to the Washington Post, 40% of all people killed by police did not have a gun! Go figure. Go fucking figure. Nearly half of all people killed by police did not have a gun. So PERF is going to be teaching the NYPD their new ICAT system. Wow, that's a lot of letters. And that has to be a really hard job. So what's your job? Oh, I, uh... I, I'm one of those, I'm a pit crew for NASCAR. I've got to change four tires in 2.5 seconds. Oh, that's a difficult job. What's uh, your job? Oh, got to teach kindergartners and first graders. Uh, Not to eat each other's uh, boogers. No, no, even, no, uh, uh, I do active shooter drills. Yes. Got to teach preschoolers about a crazed white guy with a gun trying to kill you. Oh, what's your job? Oh, I've got to teach the NYPD not to fucking shoot people. It's like, oh, yeah. fuck. We got a winner. Ding, 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 motherfucker. God damn. You might as well teach a fish not to swim. Today's lesson, we are concentrating on teaching the police how to tell the difference between a gun and a banana. Okay, so here's the first situation. So a black teen is walking down the street and, oh, 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 I know, we shoot him in the face. No, you do not shoot him. I'm not even done explaining the situation. Okay, here you go. The teen has a soda in his hands. Well, he must have stolen that soda. So I aim for the head, and then I... No, 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 you do not shoot. He just has a soda in his hand. That's all. Yes, but he could throw it at me, so it's a weapon. So I aim for the neck, and okay, no, let, let's, let's try a different situation. Okay, so you're walking down the street, and you see a woman, and then you... Oh, 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 rape time? No, it's not rape time. Jesus! Okay, how about this? A Latino couple is, oh, see, now most people would beat them and then shoot them, but me, I'd shoot first. So, if you are having a hard day at your job, just think, at least your job isn't to try and teach the NYPD to not kill people. Yes. So... At least there's one bright point. Hopefully, I, I have cheered you up now. 
and you can go about the rest of your day just with a, with a little bit of a spring in your step, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright. And cut on that. There's that bit. 